when doing texture painting, there is a new panel symmetry here, which allows you to paint with symmetry axis like the x axis you see here, or x and y, or even x, y and c, because right now you see nothing is on the bottom, but when I paint here, you also see it on the bottom. So texture painting now got symmetry options just like sculpt mode, and it works with any brush, even clone brushes. Now let me go to sculpt mode and do some very simple sculpting in Dynatopo. Yeah, just a little bit. And then let me go to edit mode and see the resulting geometry. And it's way cleaner than before in Blender 2.74. Let me just show you. Here, when I go to sculpt mode and select Dynatopo, the resulting geometry was really wasn't that good. You see it here. So way better geometry when using Dynatopo. But there is a few other differences for Dynatopo as well. And for this, let me turn on in shading, ambient occlusion, and once again enable Dynatopo, but I will use the crease brush because this is the one that got the change. And here I will increase the pinch and the strength so you can see the difference. And I will also not use any symmetry. And I also need constant detail for this with, let's say, 2%. Okay. Now let me just create one to the inside, one stroke, and one to the outside, and you will notice that they are kind of flat. Now in Blender 2.75, this is different. So let me also do the same setup here, enable Dynatono Topo, and with constant detail, 2%. No symmetry, that's also important. And up there, crease with 0.5 strength and 100% pitch, pinch. And you will see the pinch is now way clearer than before. And for you to see this, I will also turn on ambient occlusion. So now let's see what we got here. And you see a more clearer pinch, way more clearer. So it's a lot better if you want to sculpt wrinkles. So pretty, pretty cool. And now the last thing I'd like to show you in relation to Dynatopo and sculpting is the following. And that is a new detail mode. You have already seen here brush detail. And what this is doing is um, the detail of the Dynatopo is relative to the brush. So. Let me, let's just do sculpt and draw. And then let's make this a lot bigger and then do some drawing. And you see a very coarse geometry. But now when I'm making this very small, I'm using the F key for this. Then we have also very fine detail. So pretty cool for Dynatopo.